questions. And kind of a quiet week after last week's chock full of macroeconomic data. Uh, not too much on the flight schedule, even uh, overseas as well. We'll get some ISM manufacturing Monday morning at uh, 10 a.m. And then Tuesday, some uh, trade numbers. We'll get some FOMC members running around out there in front of their microphones, obviously talking most likely about the jobs report. Uh, Fed Chairwoman Yellen is going to testify in front of uh, the Joint Economic Committee of Congress. Uh, some consumer credit numbers. Just nothing really ginormous here this week. Weekly unemployment claims, obviously, on Thursday. Uh, wholesale inventories on Friday. And uh, nothing really big out of China or overseas or in Europe. Um, I got to tell you, though, keep an eye on the uh, on the Russell. Um, a bank, good note out from uh, Bank of America o over the weekend. Uh, taking a look at uh, Treasuries, how they're uh, trading uh, versus uh, the Ru and take a look at the Russell here. The the Russell is right up against its 200-day moving average right here. If the Russell breaks its 200-day moving average, uh, look out below. And we are this week is going to be. Um, uh, critical to see. And, and the Russell 2000, folks, I mean, is a broad spectrum of companies. Uh, and, and it you know, the Dow, old stodgy. S&P 500, eh, broader view of the, uh, of the economy. Russell 2000, the economy. The Russell 2000 breaks down, and uh, that will be bad. Uh, over at Top Gun Options, I've posted this article uh, in the Red Room, but I strongly recommend you take a look at it. Uh, and, and it uh, really tracks uh, where money's flowing in and out of bonds and, and what's going on uh, with the Russell 2000 and its 200-day uh, moving average. So if, if we break that, folks, uh, look out uh, below. Also, obviously, this week, uh, folks, is uh, I thought last week was going to be an inflection point with what's going on uh, in Ukraine. Uh, after we blasted sanctions across Putin's bow uh, Monday, Tuesday-ish. I thought he'd respond last week. He didn't. The fact that he hasn't formally responded to the sanctions with a tit-for-tat, okay, well, you, you sanctioned us, we'll sanction you. The fact that he's sending Russian uh, heavy bombers, strategic bombers, uh, and MiG-29s, Su-27s, uh, Su-37, some of his uh, frontline fighter jets to Crimea, which apparently he owns now, uh, I don't know if he's going to respond to the sanctions with a tit for tat. I think now he's just going to respond with uh, tat, uh, and tat means uh, some serious uh, weapons. And a uh, good article op-ed in the journal over the weekend. You know, Ukraine's asking for military support from the United States. We send them spam in a can. We send them meals ready to eat because we don't want to upset the Russians. Uh, what would happen if we upset them more? They take over Crimea. Oh, yeah, that's right. There, he did that. What happens if we upset them more? Oh, that's right. They take over eastern Ukraine, which they're doing right now. Um, how can we upset them more? Okay. <laughs> it's like Monty Python, uh, you know, with the rabbit. Maybe if we run away some more, it'll confuse the rabbit. Uh, our, our Monty Python foreign diplomacy uh, is going to get a lot of people killed down the road. Um J.P. Morgan, have a, a long call diagonal in our urgent alert model portfolio on J.P. Morgan. It's very interesting that J.P. Morgan's coming out with a warning. Uh, the uh, second quarter is going to, they're going to see a 20% decline. And it's mainly in their FIC, uh, their fin fixed income, commodities, and currency trading division. A lot of Wall Street heavies are reporting, you know, whether it's Goldman Sachs or J.P. Morgan's or Morgan Stanley's problems in their FIC areas. So it's it's interesting that some of the, uh, the blue blood financials are starting to roll over while you see Wells Fargo had really good earnings based on small business loans and uh, and uh, mortgages. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens this week as the market digests the jobs numbers last week, get, starting to thaw out from that winter freeze. Even though we had a heinous Q1 GDP report, it looks like you know 288,000 jobs is nothing to sneeze at. However, you really start sneezing and coughing when you dig into the innards of the jobs report and you see that more people have le left the workforce since the 1970s. Our, our labor force participation rate is, uh, is abysmal, folks. A lot of people on couches eating Cheetos, throwing up their hands and saying, eh, I, I just can't find a job. I'm done. Okay, so this, this jobless recovery continues and it's not going to be a, uh, a good thing. 
Really good article as well on Zero Hedge. Uh, Kyle Bass, uh, the, the heavy that runs uh, Heyman uh, Capital Management, uh, he nails it perfectly. Proceed with caution in this market. Couldn't couldn't agree more. He gets into Japan, emerging markets, what's going on here in the United States. He more or less mirrors my strategic mindset here at Topkin Options, and I've come out with it before Kyle Bass did, So, or maybe he had it, and this was the first time he presented it. But uh, he, he's more or less in line with our uh, mindset over at uh, at Top Gun Options. Cautiously bullish is what I've been uh, calling this market recently. One hand on the ejection handle, folks, because as you know, markets go down a hell of a lot faster than they tend to go up. And when this music stops, folks, the, the folks on Wall Street will, will stop the music before you ever hear it. Uh, and if you're going to get stampeded, it, it, it's, it's going to be ugly. So make sure you, you, you check out what we do over here at Top Gun Options, our live trading, our training that uh, can teach you to potentially be safe from market events and and teach you to have one hand on your ejection handle okay so i gotta run have a great uh, week i'll be back with friday's market wrap up here at wealth creation investing in the meantime join me tuesday through thursday over at top Gun options for my daily market sit rep have a great week and we'll see you